Okay, so we have seen what is constru construction joint. Then we had seen the construction joint. We have contraction joint. We have expansion joints. Where are these expansion joints used to be you known? There is temperature difference. Okay, expansion joint and Pan, this is We'll see another one more video I'll show you about contraction and the expansion joint. Basically, uh, the construction you have understood the construction joint where it is used as an expansion joint. Expansion joints you will be using in your uh, where, it, where there is temperature variance okay? and the contraction joint where you feel that there will be cracks. So, before that, only you develop uh, at the very beginning some crack and then grout them so that there is less chances of cracks. Okay, so let me show you one more. Uh, video where you have types of construction joint and the expansion joint. Let me see if it is okay. And then we'll go to the uh, precast pavements. Slab ka casting ya to CC work karte hain, plain cement concrete ka road ban raha hai, kuch ho raha hai. To wahan pe hum kya karte hain, ek certain distance ke baad, usme joint provide karte hain. To isi ke baad, to ye joints kya hota hai? Joints are plant breaking concrete which allow RCC to move and permit random crack, prevent random cracking. To ye kya hai ki जब हम ये joint अगर हम RCC work में दे रहे हैं, एक ये plan रहता है, plan मतलब ये एक certain distance fix रहता है कि इतने distance के बाद हम joint provide करने वाले हैं, और उसके बाद ये क्या होता है, ये अगर देने से जो हमारा cracking होता है, वो cracking prevent हो जाता है, तो इसका आप देखते हैं types, तो types में हमारा mainly दो types का joint होता है, एक construction joints और दूसरा होता है expansion joint. तो आज हम ये दोनों के बारे में देखेंगे एक कंस्ट्रक्शन जॉइंट क्या होता है और एक्सपेंशन जॉइंट क्या होता है तो तो अब ये देख सकते हैं आप यहां पे जो दो फिगर दिख रहा है तो ये क्रैकिंग है तो ये क्रैकिंग आने का कारण रहता है कि अगर हम कंक्रीट का जो वर्क किए हैं उसमें अगर प्रॉपर 
ज्वाइंट्स प्रोवाइड नहीं किए हैं इस वजह से ये क्रैक दिखता है ये क्रैक आता है तो इसी को प्रिवेंट करने के लिए हम ये ज्वाइंट्स प्रोवाइड करते हैं आरसीसी वर्क में तो चलिए आज देखते हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट और एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट क्या होता है तो हमारा ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट नाम सुनते ही पता चलता है कि जब हम कंस्ट्रक्शन कर रहे हैं उस टाइम पे जो ज्वाइंट हम प्रोवाइड करेंगे उसको हम क्या बोलेंगे कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट बोलेंगे तो ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट कब प्रोवाइड करते हैं देख रहे हैं ज्वाइंट्स प्रोवाइडेड एट लोकेशन वेयर कंक्रीट वर्क स्टॉप टेंपरेरीली जैसे कि कहीं पे कंक्रीट वर्क चल रहा है तो कंक्रीट वर्क चला और क्या हुआ कि चलने के बाद अब जैसे कि अब टाइम खत्म हो गया मतलब रात हो गया अब रात को काम नहीं चलना है और फिर कल वहां से फिर स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं काम तो वहां पे क्या करते हैं ज्वाइंट छोड़ते हैं एक ज्वाइंट बना के रखते हैं तो उसी ज्वाइंट को हम बोलते हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट मतलब जो काम हमारा टेम्पोरली बंद हुआ है फिर कल से स्टार्ट होना है तो वहां पे ज्वाइंट्स रहना चाहिए तो इस ज्वाइंट को क्या बोलते हैं कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट जैसे कि यहाँ पे फिगर पे भी दिख रहा है आपको कि क्या किया गया है यहाँ पे कि मतलब ज्वाइंट्स ऐसे छोड़ दिया है मतलब एक इंक्लाइंट वे में जहाँ पे वर्क खत्म हुआ है हमारा वहां पे इंक्लाइंट वे में हम वो कंक्रीट को डाल दिए हैं पूरा नहीं डाले और अब ऊपर से फिर डालेंगे तो वो भी इंक्लाइंट वे में उसके ऊपर जाएगा और एक बाउंड बन जाएगा ठीक है तो उसके बाद दीज ज्वाइंट आर डिजाइन वेन एवर प्लेसिंग ऑफ कंक्रीट इज सस्पेंडेड फॉर मोर देन थर्टी मिनट और ये काम हम एक और होता है कि जैसे कि 30 मिनट के लिए काम हमको रुक गया है कहीं पे 30 मिनट से ज्यादा के लिए अगर काम रुका हुआ है तो वहां पे हम क्या करेंगे कि ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट प्रोवाइड करेंगे और ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट प्रोवाइड करने से ये होगा कि फिर जब इसमें हम काम स्टार्ट करेंगे अपना तो वहां पे एक बाउंड बने अच्छा जो वो हमारा कास्टेड कंक्रीट जो हार्ड हो जाएगा थोड़ा और फिर जो फ्रेश कंक्रीट डालेंगे तो वो दोनों के बीच में अच्छा बाउंड बने इसके लिए हम क्या करेंगे ये कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट डालते हैं तो ये यहाँ पे फिगर पे दिख रहा है और इसका नॉर्मल टाइप से भी आता है तो यहाँ पे ये थ्री टाइप दिया गया है बट टाइप बट मतलब क्या होता है मतलब दोनों सामने सामने उसको बट टाइप बोलते हैं और उसके बाद एक दूसरा है हमारा जिसमें बट टाइप कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट विथ डॉवल डॉवल मतलब डॉवल मतलब होता है छठ जो है हमारा स्टील बार है वो वहां पे प्रोवाइड करते हैं और दूसरा है जहाँ पे हम टाइल बार यूज करते हैं तीसरा जो है वो टाइल बार यूज करते हैं उसके बाद अब चलते हैं हम एक्सपेंसिंग ज्वाइंट में तो एक्सपेंसिंग ज्वाइंट का है एक्सपेंशन से यही पता चलता है एक्सपेंड होना है बढ़ना कुछ बल मतलब डॉलर सो अंडरस्टूड दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट ऑलरेडी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट वी आई हैव शोड यू द वीडियो ऑन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट सो हियर आल्सो द सेम थिंग इज सेड दैट कंस्ट्रक्शन ज्वाइंट वेयर इट इज यूज्ड फॉर अ टेंपरेरी पर्पसेस व्हेन यू हैव सपोज फॉर सम काइंड ऑफ रीजन फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ रीजन योर वर्क हैज स्टॉप्ड and you suppose this uh, taking the example of this also if the work has stopped here so what we are doing uh, we don't want this to uh, when we uh, restart the work from this half portion what will happen we don't want that this portion is different this portion is different but this two uh, we, we will want that this two are joined together so and they do not uh, provide any uh, difference between or gap between these constructions so we uh, join give a join between these two members okay half half when it is done a little bit okay and there is no time if like for more than 30 minutes if you are keeping the work half set then you can use this joins so that when you use these kind of joins what happens this uh, prevents the bonding this bonding due to this concrete doesn't uh, occur okay so when we do this uh, we place this uh, dowels here so that there is no bond once we are ready to again restart the work we will remove this and then again we will pour the uh, concrete works we will start with the concrete works okay so this is a construction joints wherever you need to uh, keep the wherever you need to restart something some kind of construction joints where you have wherever you have left it for any kind of reason it may be for hours it may be for weeks okay <clears throat> so in that kind of uh, and this is basically for your huge structures okay this construction joints we use for uh, large structural members like you said that i in the last class yesterday i said you that like for dams for bridge piers bridges for huge huge structures where you are making these joints are used okay then we come to again the expansion joints chart jo hai hamara steel bar expansion joint ka expansion se yahi pata chalta hai expand hona hai badhna 
कोई भी चीज पड़ रहा है उसके कारण से हम जो ज्वाइंट प्रोवाइड करेंगे वो ज्वाइंट को बोलते हैं एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट तो एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट आर यूज्ड टू परमिट द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ स्लैब ड्यू टू राइज इन टेंपरेचर अबव द कंस्ट्रक्शन टेंपरेचर ऑफ सीमेंट कंक्रीट तो जैसे कि एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट क्या होता है कि जब हम कंक्रीट पास कर दिए तो वो नॉर्मल टेंपरेचर में कंक्रीट पास होता है लेकिन कभी ऐसा भी होता है कि हमारा जो टेंपरेचर है वो टेंपरेचर बढ़ जाएगा और टेंपरेचर बढ़ने के कारण क्या होता है हमारा कंक्रीट में एक्सपेंशन आता है और एक्सपेंशन आने के लिए आता है एक्सपेंशन आने के बाद उसका वॉल्यूम इंक्रीज होगा और उसको अगर वो इंक्रीज वॉल्यूम का का जगह अगर उसको नहीं मिल रहा है वो कहीं पे ऑक्यूपाई नहीं कर पा रहा है तो वहीं पे क्रैकिंग आ जाता है तो ये इसी के लिए दिया जाता है कि अगर एक्सपेंड हो तो जो एक्सपेंड के लिए हम उसके लिए छोड़ें एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट जो वहां पे गैप छोड़ेंगे उस गैप में उसका एक्सपेंड वॉल्यूम है वो चले जाए और वो सेटल हो जाए और वहां पे क्रैक्स सही भी नहीं है तो इसी के लिए हम ये कंपैक्शन एंड एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट को देते हैं उसके बाद द बिल्डिंग लॉन्गर देन 45 मीटर आर जनरली प्रोवाइडेड इज वन और मोर एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट और बिल्डिंग का अगर हमारा 45 मीटर से ज्यादा का है उसमें एक या एक से ज्यादा हम उसमें एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट यूज कर सकते हैं इन इंडिया इन इंडिया रिकमेंडेड रिकमेंडेड सेंटर टू सेंटर स्पेस टू ज्वाइंट इज 30 मीटर और एक एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट से दूसरे एक्सपेंशन ज्वाइंट का डिस्टेंस जो है सेंटर टू सेंटर 30 मीटर रहना चाहिए उसके बाद द ज्वाइंट आर फॉर्म बाय प्रोवाइडिंग अ गैप बिटवीन द बिल्डिंग पार्ट्स और ये हम बता रहे थे कि गैप देते हैं और उस गैप का जो स्पेसिंग रहता है वो मिनिमम uh, 25 एम mm स्पेसिंग डालते हैं ताकि जो हमारा जो कंक्रीट है वो कंक्रीट एक्सपेंड करे तो वो जो ज्वाइंट्स है खाली ज्वाइंट्स उसमें जाके वो वो वॉल्यूम ऑक्यूपाई कर ले और हमारा कंक्रीट में क्रैकिंग ना आए ओके सो इन दिस एक्सपेंशन जॉइंट एक्सपेंशन जॉइंट्स आर व्हाट दीस आर दोस जॉइंट्स वेयर वी फील दैट दिस मैटेरियल्स दीस portion and this portion from uh, due to temperature change there is going to be an increase in uh, or change in length of this member there are you know the the increase in temperature what happens there are steel members or uh, inside the concrete member whatever you have the rcc that means well the reinforced portion they expand sometimes they expand they have the tensile strength so they can expand due to the temperature change also or any kind of member where you are using steel etc they may expand due to your temperature change okay so in that cases what we do we provide these gap between them uh, these two are these two members are joined together with the help of some joint like this one dowel again it is used for these both member and this space is left this joint space is left for both to expand if this expands then this will have a space here so that it can expand otherwise what will happen if we do not provide these gap or this joint between them the due to increase in temperature there will be increase uh, there will be change in volume of this uh, member and uh, if there is volume in the change there is volume change in this member what will happen there is no gap then obviously it is going to contract your structure or your other member this member and this member if they are expanding what will happen this will come this side this will come this side and ultimately okay so if we don't provide any expansion joint what will happen this gap is not there this gap is not provided then what will happen this uh, suppose in by your uh, by, uh, by chance suppose uh, there is a temperature change and you have uh, an increase or expansion of this member is taking place due to temperature change so what will happen if there is no gap given between them or no gap left between them what is going to happen they are going to contract and they are going to push each other and as a result what will happen cracks will develop okay in the member Uh, in this kind of member, these cracks will develop here or here anywhere because they are under uh, stress or pressure. Okay, so that's why we provide these kind of uh, joints so that they can expand. And the Indian standard, this recommendation of center to center distance, the spacing between the this spacing between these two members, any two members where we use expansion joint is what thirty meter. Okay. so uh, and what it is mentioned that the buildings which are longer than 45 this one the buildings which are more than 45 meter long they are to provide this expansion joints okay because the, there will be some kind of expansion and they are uh, their height is so long that there can be uh, expansion of some of the materials and they may 
because due to earthquakes also they may uh, this signal there may there should be some sway movements the your structure should be such that it have a sway movements and if there is some increase in the uh, your uh, members also due to temperature there is no uh, such kind of cracks or damages in the building otherwise this entire building might get affected so that's why we use this joints hmm. so this was your um, joints okay now if we now will be talking about after the joints we will be raise your um, here number nine yeah. okay so next to joints now um, we have this precast Precast pavements. Are you where it is? Okay. Hmm. Am I showing my screen? Okay, so now we are going to talk about this uh, precast, precast pavements. Okay, so what are they? These pavements you are looking. These pavements when they are constructed, uh, uh, beforehand they are made on the, uh, they are made, uh, not on the side, but at the time of construction they are brought after construction. After they are made, they are prepared. These your pavements parts are prepared. And then they are brought on the side or on the side itself somewhere they are prepared and then they are brought here and then they are used for pavements. So why we use this precast? Because they are the first reason being that they are very much faster in construction because when you see when you don't use some obviously um, in most of the cases we are not using precast now because uh, maybe in the later future we might be using all those uh, for Precast only we may be using, but now since in the conventional method, if you see what is happening, we use what here we uh, give the we lay all the things like the subgrade, subbase, uh, subsurface layers. We all lay here itself on the road, and we do the uh, pavement design, right? We we, we start with, with the uh, pavement construction, but in precast, what happens? They are already prepared, and then whenever you are uh, require that like uh, like I have or I have said that we have to make this portion of the uh, pavement uh, it has deteriorated so what we'll do we have already prepared the uh, const uh, we have already prepared this construction pavement part and then what we are doing we are bringing on the site and then we are placing that will hamper that will not hamper the traffic as well because when we do the conventional method, what happens? We have to wait for the uh, mixture to set down, bituminous layer to set down, and uh, all the other uh, layers also, the subsurface, sub subsurface, sub base, all these layers, we have to uh, wait for them to set, and that's why the uh, traffic will be hampered. There will be traffic jumps all over time, will be not managed. So in that is not a problem in the precast because they are faster in construction because they are already prepared and then they are brought on the site and used but as compared to your conventional methods so what do you mean by you can just go through this why do, what do you mean by faster construction okay so conventional cast in place pavement requires several days of additional curing time when you are using these uh, conventional method you have to saw you have to wait for your curing right when they are going to cure when they are going to set but that is not the in the case of uh, precast okay uh, and after the concrete is placed before it is strong enough to withstand the traffic load while in fast setting concrete mixtures have been developed for this purpose this can be post -pro prohibitive for large scale pavement constructions okay so we have why we are using precast because they are faster in construction number one then we have they are they can be reused reused user delay cost what are user delay cost these are cost to the drivers of the roadway that are directly attributable to congestion caused by 
construction activities okay increased fuel consumption okay increased fuel consumption lost work time increased vehicle wear and tear and increased air pollution are just a few of these costs the savings in the user delay cost rely, uh, realized through limiting construction to only of the peak travel time set okay this is with the primary okay so the next point is what next thing which is to uh, when we use the precast uh, pavements what is the benefit it is that they will help you in reducing the user delay cost now what is this user delay cost this user delay cost means suppose uh, when you have this thing now uh, when you are doing the conventional when you are using the conventional method what is happening when you are using the conventional method you will have to so wait for your curing there will be the, this portion is uh, under curing suppose then your uh, this uh, movement of the traffics will have to be from here uh, and sorry suppose we are constructing this one a portion of this is under curing process uh, and it is already prepared and then uh, uh, by using conventional method and then they are left for curing or or you can also say not for curing but when they are on process of construction going on okay then what happens these some of the traffic has to come here so obviously this portion is hindered this portion is not under use right so they'll have only this much space less than half or uh, you can say half of the space is taken up now it is un uh, not re not usable at the time of construction so it is what happens it is producing jams traffic jams heavy traffics and as a result what is happening these cars which are coming they are obviously burning their fuel they are obviously uh, uh, giving their time because the time which you require to pass through this entire uh, road now you will require more time because this half of the road is blocked so obviously the to cross in this uh, entire road because there was no jam there was free flow you can easily pass there okay but when you have been blocked by these road construction process now what will happen there will be jam there will be uh, and if there is jam what will happen the, you will uh, require more time you will waste your time you will uh, your increased vehicle wear and tear because of this there may be due to the jams jams there may be some this uh, hitting uh, any kind of uh, you know the any kind of uh, uh, you can say uh, reduced uh, that means uh, what to say there can be any sometimes wear and tear also because of this because in the jam there is so much crowded that you may it or get scratch in your car so 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 most basically is your time you will be uh, this cars which are passing th that is they are giving their cost of this construction how because they are giving their time they are they are wasting their time they are uh, wasting their fuel also they are per giving uh, increasing the pollution okay so in this way you can say this means that is why we say that it is reduced user delay cost. Why? When we use precast, this doesn't happen. So, but when we do not use precast, these costs are to be given or these costs are to be paid or this cost, the, the, there is increase in this costs which they uh, bear, this vehicles. But when we use precast, there is no such cases. Okay. So, next is, next why we use precast to improve durab because it has improved durability and performance okay because it has improved uh, durability and performance obviously so this is a result of high degree of quality control when we are using precast what will happens we are using a high degree of quality control that can be achieved at a precast fabrication plant where we in the precast fabrication plant we use the what we make the precast members of that uh, particular uh, pavement if you say that also okay it has obviously and we know that precasts are always have a higher strength as compared to your conventional method and so if it has high strength it has high quality also that means which means low permeability concrete mixtures with a low water cement ratio and uniform aggregate gradation okay they are more flexible also okay so What's more, precast irrigation plants offer tremendous flexibility over the curing operation. 
okay so problem is that can okay these things that is another point so now why pre-stress precast pavement pre-stressing has a proof because now by now you know what is precast right so by now if you know what is precast you know that how much because i think i don't know to you your batch or to other batch i have you know, talked about this precast but precasts are very much stronger because they are made they don't have to be uh, weighted because they are uh, constructed or prepared in your uh, what is that called the uh, precast plans are made and then on the construction uh, fabrication plants we use this we make this precast materials like it can be precast pavement it can be precast uh, beam it can be precast columns it can be precast tires okay so uh, or uh, so precast means nothing but when it is already made okay already constructed casted and then they have brought, been brought to the site okay this is precast so why precast so it is obviously we know it has more performance better performance durability strong and though it has very limited use in pavements there are clearly benefits of pre-stress concrete pavements mostly we don't there is very limited use of this pavement why because generally we uh, in you will never you have not seen probably the precast pavements till now because it is limited use it has a limited use where uh, in large areas i don't think they are uh, made till now because they don't have time to prepare that in the construction plan and then again they'll bring so they prefer all prefer that on the site itself they uh, lay the subgrade sub base uh, subsurface layers and the bituminous layers and then they uh, left it for curing okay but sometimes when you want for your uh, construction purpose of the pavements that uh, for suppose uh, in your lane itself in your by lane you want your uh, uh, this site to be precast and you can do that also but uh, or you want there is a heavy load heavy traffic that is you can't imagine that much uh, sometimes it happens like in some cases there is so much of traffic and that is much traffic means much load so that you have to make your uh, pavement also that much strong enough that they take that much of load in okay so in that cases you can use your pavement precast pavements also okay so these are your some kind of precast pavement uh, pictures you can see So these are the reinforcements already prepared and then they are bought and laid down here. One of the another important thing is that they reduce the cracking. Again, okay. they minimize the cracking when we use the uh, recast materials. They reduce the uh, cracking, they reduce the slab thickness because slab thickness, why they are reduced? Because they have uh, that much of strength. Suppose uh, you have your uh, RCC slab, okay, and you are having a precast slab. So the thickness of your precast slab is less. Why? Because the strength of your uh, precast, the strength of your this precast one is double and triple of your RCC, okay. This is your normal RCC. It has reinforcements, but in precast we are having tendons, large tendons, and and when we have uh, pre-stress, those are pre-stress. Sorry, uh, precast we have their strength is more as compared to your RCC, and that's why suppose this uh, RCC can take one fifty. Suppose your this can take a uh, one fifty kilonewton of load. This much thickness of your RCC same length. Suppose both are uh, both this uh, slabs are of same length, okay, and same size. They this RCC can take suppose one fifty kilonewton, but your same length, same size, uh, precast concrete slab 
but with the lesser thickness will be able to carry more than your suppose it can take this much of your load so as compared we uh, as already compared before that your precast compared in comparison to your rcc is always more stronger than your uh, rcc your precast so that's why we can decrease this slab okay if we make the same size slab same thickness slab of precast this will be able to take more than you can say 500 kilonewton or so okay so that is the difference between your precast and your uh, normal rcc so there is this is another difference of your precast pavements also as similar to the pavements and the uh, precast structure members and the these two are similar precast uh, structural member as well as your precast uh, pavements so the one of the another important uh, advantage is what your reduced lap thickness then we have uh, the then we have what the bridging capacity okay then we have our bridging capacity that is pre-stressing gives the pavement a certain bridging capacity that permits the pavement slab to spawn small voids and soft base material beneath the pavements okay pre-stressing gives the pavement a certain bridging capacity that permits the pavement slab to spawn small voids and soft base materials beneath the pavement. This is very critical for pavement removal and replacement operations that are limited to short overnight construction windows uh, when it is often not possible to recondition or replace the underlying base material. Okay, so uh, when we are using the precast uh, pavements, what is one more benefit? That is the bridging capacity. Now, what is the bridging capacity? Bridging capacity means, um, bridging capacity means suppose uh, you have to construct something, uh, not something, suppose you are constructing the material, uh, pavement, you are constructing the, uh, you have already this layer of, suppose this is your pavement layer, okay, this is your pavement layer, now what is happening, uh, this has deteriorated, okay your pavement has deteriorated to this kind of that is your uh, subsurface layer or the surface layers has moved come out okay they have uh, some gaps between them okay okay there are some holes okay in suppose they, there are voids because of this there is water entering inside this and therefore that is creating voids here and as a result they may not take that much of load of the traffic but in that case what we do in this case what we can do we can just it is not possible sometimes that you remove your there are different layers right in the pavements that is your subgrade sub, subgrade sub base base layer so you cannot remove this sub base suppose but uh, so what in that case what you can do you can in that case you can provide the precast pavements you can bring and you can place over here over here so now you see your pavement at the top is how your pavement at the top is normal you, you will not know that this this is your pavement top layer but before what it was there were deteriorations on the pavement and what was happening you could not uh, remove this layers because there were three layers the subgrade sub base sub uh, surface pores so what we can do so, uh, to some extent whatever we can remove we have removed the surface layer uh, okay subsurface layer okay and then we have placed this our precast pavement and now you can see the movement of the car is easy and there is no such voids etc because they have the precasts have that much strength because when this is placed here your precast pavements so you will not see these things now these are already removed and then these better sized pavement is placed here okay i think we don't have time now next class we will be doing with the foundation so i'll share with you the link now with for your uh, attendance, just go and give your attendance here. Okay.
building construction. You have the link with you? This is the link. Go to the link and just uh, give you attendance there. Wait. Okay, uh, Dev Burma, I am looking your. Yeah, you have asked something in the chat box. Ma'am, mm, in terms of cost efficiency, which one is cheaper, precast or in situ? Okay, a good question. But yeah, a good question. So we have what precast? You are asking that which one is cheaper, right? So uh, you, you know, precast is very much strong. We know, but the conventional method we already know that is easy for us and your precast is your uh, in situ is cheaper but in case of small constructions okay 